least one. We all need one. They serve a vital purpose in our daily lives. Refrigerators keep our food cold, while the freezer keeps our food even more cold, frozen, if you will. Unless it gets so old and it breaks and it's worth nothing, absolutely nothing, and then it keeps our food warm and our food spoils and we have to throw out the food, so we might as well throw out the old refrigerator and buy a... Remember the price is right? A new refrigerator! A new refrigerator! I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not Drew Carey. He looks like he has AIDS, doesn't he? He's, he's all like... Uh, uh. A new refrigerator! This is what we buy when our old refrigerator breaks down. And on this episode of Mythbusters, there's a copyright strike right there. <laughs> on this episode, fuck it. YouTube. On this episode of Mythbusters, we are going to attempt to bust the myth that we've all been told as children, or at least I have. The myth, I'm probably going to get a copyright from, copyright strike from Rob Dyke for stealing his voice. Gotta leave that in as a blooper. We're going to attempt to bust the myth that we've all been told as children, or at least I have. The myth that you can get locked in a refrigerator and you won't be able to get out because you'll suffocate, because you'll be locked in. We're all told as children, at least I was. Maybe my parents were a little more woo than yours were, but mine were woo. They were alcoholics, actually. But anyway, I was told, if you ever see a refrigerator out on a curb, someone throws out a refrigerator. If you ever see an empty refrigerator, don't climb in and don't close the door because you'll suffocate. You won't be able to get out. And even as a little kid, I knew that mom and dad were full of shit. Completely full of shit. And all my life, I have strived to, or is it stroke? Whatever. It's YouTube. To find an empty refrigerator. I'm tired of leaning on this knee. I'll try this knee. To find an empty refrigerator so I could climb inside, pull it shut, and bust the myth whether or not I can die inside an empty refrigerator. And here's my chance. Because as you can see, it is empty. Now it's empty. I, Mr. Perfect, am going to perfectly position myself inside this refrigerator. I am going to pull this door shut. Sounds like sounds like prison. Sounds like lock up, huh? Lock up raw. Lock up. Myth busting. Lock up. I am going to pull the refrigerator door closed while I am inside and like Houdini tried to escape from the the, 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 the the big can of milk or water or whatever and he drowned, he died, but I am going to attempt to not be Houdini. I am going to attempt to live and escape this monstrous structure by pushing the door open and the fucking phone is ringing. Go to hell! I am doing a... The, the phone's over there. I am making a video! God, everything goes wrong. The worst time... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I'm going to climb inside. I'm... I mean, seriously. 
if you're strong enough to open the door, which an infant can do, an infant, the same infant, can push the door open from the inside. There's no difference between pulling it open and pushing it open from the inside. There's no difference. Mom and Dad didn't get that. I mean, I, I understand they drank heavily, but seriously, it's just, it's a no-brainer. Even as a child, I was a fucking genius. You can't get locked in a refrigerator unless somebody wraps a chain around it and puts a padlock on it. Then you can get locked in a refrigerator. Just ask the mafia. But this is a chain-free fridge. I am going to climb inside, and I am going to the suspense. It's building, and it's killing you, isn't it? Actually, the duration of the video is killing you more because you hate my long videos. I'm going to try and make this one under two hours, okay? So, without further ado, a new refrigerator! An old man. An open door. I rehearsed climbing in. I know I can fit. He climbed inside slowly. He backs in. Fuck! Bangs his head. <laughs> Guess you can die inside an empty refrigerator before the door is even closed. Still, mom and dad were wrong. You can die or hurt yourself before even closing the door. Now, in, in case, this is quite comfortable, actually. Ooh. Hmm, this is nice. I wonder if this is stormproof. Hey, okay, so, in case anything goes wrong and they find, like, the Blair Witch or something like that, the, the catacombs in France and Paris, you know, something goes wrong and they find this, this camera, this tape. Y'all know what happened. So, y'all make sure to get the story straight, okay? This is not suicide. This is myth-busting. I'm not very original with coming out with the title, so I'll steal the title of myth-busting. So, Let's pray for the best. I haven't been to church in 30 years, but hopefully I still have a point or two left. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. See you soon. Hopefully. Ow! Make sure your toes those of you who are going to attempt this at home, make sure your toes are inside. In fact, you could sit up on this little shelf here. Yay, this is a better idea. It should be ours. Better. Okay. Action.
I highly recommend, I highly encourage, inspire, motivate, and demand and command that you try this at home. Or if you find a refrigerator on your curb somewhere when someone throws one out, climb inside. You don't have to climb inside, you just, just go inside. You know, and pull the door closed and push your way out and be just like me. Or something could go wrong, but don't hold me responsible because. I'm not getting any YouTube monetization, so I can't afford to set out any lawsuits. A new refrigerator! An old man busted the myth absolutely perfectly. And there is a thunderstorm lingering outside which pretty much sets up my outro video. Hope you enjoyed my video. I hope the camera is really on. Yes, it is. 13 minutes and 15 seconds. The average attention span should be able to handle this. Bye-bye. You win.